Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that PM Modi will embark on an official visit to US from June 21st to 24th where he'll be hosted by President Joe Biden at the White House. All eyes are on PM's visit as India and US is going to sign historic deal for engine production and development. The engagement of US and India will be on development of three different types of engine which we'll be discussing in detail in today's video. The first discussion will be for GF414 INS6. On 1st October 2010, ADA has selected 99 F414 G fighter jet engines to power the Mark II version of LCA for Indian Air Force. It is a 98 kN class engine with thrust to weight ratio of 9 is to 1. G Aviation will supply the initial batch of these engines and the rest will be manufactured in India under transfer of technology agreement. The initial batch of engines will be supplied from US can be used for prototype development and once both the countries reach to TOT agreement, the production of these engines can commence in HAL engine division at Bengaluru. AD is working with GE and US government to get 100% TOT for the engine. Earlier, under DTTI initiative, US has denied the transfer of core engine technology as it is considered as well-guarded secret. Now, this is being pursued under ICET initiative announced in May 2022. The US has realized that the collaboration with India is important geopolitically and economically. Geopolitically, because it has to prove that it is a trusted partner of India as it has history of being unreliable. US also knows that it cannot counter China in Indo-Pacific without India. This deal also makes sense for US economically as India will need more than hundreds of these engines to power its upcoming fighter jets. This deal is going to be finalized soon and most likely during PM Modi's visit. The trickiest deal for India is going to be second engine which will be of higher thrust class and will power AMCA Mark II fighters. AMC Mark II has requirement of engines having thrust in the range of 110 kN or even more to provide it ability to super cruise. In this segment, US has already F414 enhanced engine which has thrust of 116 kN. The enhanced version has same dimension but has more thrust as the engine allows more airflow into its core. GE is also facing competition from European engine giants Rolls-Royce and Safran. UK has already demonstrated its support by pre-approving an export license that is permissionless for combat engine technology transfer. France has already shown its commitment of engine development with India. Now India is looking to jointly develop higher thrust class engine for its futuristic requirement and to have the complete know-how of the engine technology along with IPR rights which will allow India to further refine and design and do development. The third engine deal which India and US is looking for will be for marine engines. Close to 34 warships of Indian Navy uses gas turbine from Ukraine as their primary source of propulsion. To power all these warships, Indian Navy needs more than 130 marine gas turbine engines and few spare ones. However, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict has caused serious issue with supply chain of these engines and their parts. Therefore, India is now looking for alternative to Ukrainian marine engine. India has already revived its marine recovery program. However, it's going to take some years to be operationally ready. In meanwhile, India has two options. After Ukrainian engine, Indian Navy heavily relies on GLM2500 engine. These engines are integrated with indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, three Shivali class frigates, seven stealth frigates being built under Project 17A. HL is already assembling and testing these engines for Project 17A in Bengaluru under license from GE. The turbine overhaul centers would be set up in Naval Dockyard Vishakhapatnam and Mumbai for these engines. India will also be looking forward to extend cooperation with GE in marine engine development which will power its warships. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.